A few more details are coming out about uh, Lord Sumption's statement. And he said um, this overruling a decision on the facts, on the evidence by the highest court in the land. But he says, I've never heard of a situation in which Parliament intervenes to declare the facts, the safety or unsafety of Rwanda, uh, to change the facts from those that have been declared by the court to be correct. The courts have perused hundreds of pages of documents to reach this decision. For Parliament simply to say the facts are different would be constitutionally really quite extraordinary. And, uh, and in, in, in addition, of course, you get the delightful spectacle of James Cleverly looking very uncomfortable about whether or not he said that the Rwanda plan was batshit. I'd never heard that expression before, but I think it is rather brilliant, isn't it? Tiny and insignificant, but in the end, uh, the sort of stuff that uh, can be uh, can clog into your wellies as you troop through a cave. Batshit. Yesterday in the Commons, you were accused of describing the Rwanda system as batshit. Is that true? Did you say those words? Well, look, I'm not. Uh, that's that's that was a claim made of me, not something. Uh, that uh, that I said, but the point is, you didn't say that. But the is that, point, so you didn't point, say but that. But the point is, but the point is, look, it's, it's good. For, it's good for parliamentary. It's good for parliamentary theatre. The point that I said is, and I and I repeat it, the Rwanda scheme is already having a deterrent effect. When we operationalise it, when we get those flights taking off, it will have an even greater deterrent effect, and it will be part of the toolkit that is seeing the applications. Uh, sp sped up, the returns increased, the number of raids on illegal employments, uh, people employing uh, illegal migrants uh, significantly increased, up 70%. Uh, this is a, as I say, this is an important part, a very important part of a range of activities cracking down on illegal migration and it is working. Very happy to give you the time to answer the question I just asked you. Is did you say that word? So I don't remember. As I certainly don't remember saying uh, anything, uh, anything like that. Specifically, Lord Jonathan Sumption says uh, it won't work internationally. It might work. It might work uh, domestically if the if the um, if Parliament says that. Uh, the judges have to pretend that Rwanda is safe, then by an act of parliament that might work. And it might work domestically. But he says, but it won't work internationally. It will still be a breach of the government's international law obligations. It will be a breach of the refugee treaty. It will be a breach of the rules of customary international law, which the government has been promoting and saying covers every obligation for some years. It will put us in a position where we are behaving like Vladimir Putin. It would be constitutionally a completely extraordinary thing to do to effectively overrule a decision on the facts, on the evidence by the highest court in the land. I don't think it could be any plainer than that. We will be putting ourselves in a position where we are moral pariahs. We will not be able to speak morally about any issue in the world from really from from now on actually we've already we've already crossed that um rubicon the prime minister has crossed that rubicon i'm afraid uh, whether it's whether, whether it's put into practice or not is simply a matter of um accepting the prime minister's uh casual moral um code and um and, and, and failed moral compass.